star Nate Hartley with the runner. George Amor off. But Kitley right there for that offensive rebound. Again, that's in category that Virginia Tech has been killing at. Kelly. And another one coming up for Liz Kitley. And then Kitley, one on one down low with the height advantage. Took her time. Inside, double team this time is Kitley. She'll find the open shooter. Owusu down to the corner. Ashley Owusu knocks in the trap. Georgia Amor, the junior point guard out of Australia. Immediately into Liz Kitley. In on the post. And Kitley fading away. Textbook stuff from the preseason player of the year. Ball still loose. Kitley picks it up. And a fresh 20 for the Hokies. Right back right down back to in. her. Look, we're on the same page here. You see it too. Count a little bit. Two on Soul. You got two on DeAsia Gregg. One on Kitley. And for a short bench, that could be, well... That's what, you, that's what you get. Lacey unable to add to those 11 points for the Eagles, but certainly a better start to this quarter than the way the game started for Boston College. So tough to defend when Kitley has the positioning that she wants in the paint. Been a little more hesitant with what they want to do with the basketball. Kitley was a long way from the basket, but no problem. They don't want to give her too many open looks, that's for sure. Definitely true. One of the best three-point shooters in the league. Marshall had the ball in her hands. Second three of the game. Haley Cavender, 15 points. She and Robertson double digits for Miami. Soul got free, and Kitley found her. And wide open, she gets the knockdown. And this pass by Kitley to the cut and Soul, that's a nice play. Particularly how you're going to line up against uh, those two we highlighted in the open. They try to defend the premier player for Virginia Tech underneath, but Kitley knocks home her first bucket from beyond the arc in this contest. You know, Lance White's group at Pittsburgh is, is you know, they're 0-5, but they play good basketball. There goes it all to the high post again. Nobody home down. Remaining in the basketball game. Trailer. Kitley. Trying to get in there and lay that back, she will. Wing players in the bottom row pop up a little bit to help, great help defense here by Pitt. And I think that's a huge reason. Obviously, Virginia Tech shooting only 38%. This Virginia Tech offensive unit can really put pressure on their opponent, especially with Kitley's size and strength. Tough fadeaway, gets the bounce. Kayla King, top of the key, three. Offensive rebound, no. Kitley, third chance, oh yeah. Three-point play opportunity for Liz Kitley. That is nuts. Hokies have lost her through the re-screening action a couple too many times. Inside to Kitley, back to a five-point game. Because they are so deep and they play so hard, you can continuously sub out, but that's a good pin down. Now look where Kitley catches the ball, all the way underneath the basket, but she makes the smart play. Yeah. Ivory Lado is just so terrific for North Carolina. There you go, Liz Kitley. Finally getting one underneath. She was fouled by Mia he Heidi. Three of rotating in. And you see Heidi is fronting her, but that back backside help, and that's a good. This year, Soul trying to post up. They get it into her. Great recovery by Taylor Soul. She's been a go-to option over these last two weeks, averaging 13 points over the last four. Greg finds Kitley fading away. Signature Liz Kitley. And that's too low. Valade knocked down by King and a burst of speed from Georgia. Amor. Whew, Amor just outran everybody. Waning moments of the first quarter. Virginia Tech has struggled on the offensive end. Another tip pass. King finds Kitley and one. Big impact for the Hokies against this zone. Right place, right time, playing through the contact. Down to King. Kitley turns around and sinks the baseline jumper. Under the basket, three Hokies there. Loose ball, here comes Amor. Trailer, what a good feed. You're barely at the top here, and then you've got so many teams that really could fight for that second place, and everybody's beatable as Amor tries to get creative down low. 
Kitley's going to have Kitley. to be very physical. That's how you do it. Kitley has had to fight through double and triple teams, this time getting the offensive rebound through two players up over Howard. This late in the season, as grindy as it can be, could that be a factor in this start? I think no doubt. And you've got a, a full house here, Virginia Tech. They hit their first three. Lats it. There she goes. Earlier. And the block by King out of bounds. Kitley's got 11 and 4. And a block. Deasia Gregg inside to Kitley. Another and one. Greg got it into her. A bit of a size mismatch there. Easy lob inside. To Hokies wanted to walk. Jackson. Lots of physicality down low. Kitley was there. Here comes Awusu. Pulls up. No good. Kitley with the stick back. And of course, Kitley is a nice rim protector in the back. Deep in that shot clock again, Bailey. Trailer has to find a shot. It's got to be Kitley now. She found a way to do it. Look at the shrug for Kitley. She's feeling it. And passed up the shot. Kitley working so hard. She just has such good. I mean, the Hokies just do such a good job of getting Liz Kitley touches, and she sees Camille Hobby. It's going to be an emotional day, senior day. But when your seniors get the ability to go on the floor and make plays, that's huge. Uh, big play, second block of the game for Kitley. That last foul, by the way, on Kayla King. Well, Liz Kitley on the defensive end of the floor. This is what she does. Attack with a much deeper bench than State. Just seven available players today. And Kitley got a hand on that. Should be her third block of the game. And then another foul. 2.1 seconds to go. Inbound to Kitley. Turns and shoots. Simon. And wins it. <laughs> Liz Kitley at the horn. 61 59. Virginia Tech. It wasn't pretty, but boy, oh boy, this shot was Elizabeth Kitley in timely fashion, nails it for her team. This game didn't start out in rhythm, but... Talked about the balance of this team as well. Five different scoring leaders. And six different times they've had players score 20 or more points. Going back to that Carolina game as well. Still one-on-one -on -one with Hermosa. Less than two minutes to play in this half. Kitley, turn around. My goodness. Reverse pivot. Patience once again. Takes what they give her. Nice little one-legged fadeaway. Trailer quickly gets it to Kitley. Kitley had to seal. Gets the bucket. Kitley with the fake to get past Old Acre says, see you later, freshman. Cheering really hard on this one because this is a nice ball fake. Put it on the floor and score off the glass. Louisville put the clamps on Notre Dame and now Duke controlling the tempo here in the first half of this one. Kitley has to kick it out. Amor for three. That'll no. help loosen it up a bit. Amor. Okay, because when she turns her back, that's Ooh. when Celeste Taylor goes and brings the double. You turn Kitley into the passer. Amor ready to... Amor, two-man game with Kitley. Help defense comes. She's patient and won. Counter has gotten so much better. Catching traffic, stay poised, and then step through. Didn't travel. Four out around one right now. Kitley gets a touch. Dixon, solo coverage on her, and Kitley steps away.